Welcome to Business in Japan Television. Negotiating can be one of the greatest challenges faced by Western executives in Japan. Many a deal has failed due to cross-cultural misunderstandings or differences in negotiating techniques. Joining us now to talk about this is Dr. Alfred Yeager of the Days Hotel Faculty of Management at McGill University. Dr. Yeager is with the McGill MBA program in Japan. Dr. Yeager, thanks for coming in. It's a pleasure to be here. Can you tell us how much of a role does culture play in negotiations? Well, culture plays a role in all human behavior and people's behavior is influenced by their individual characteristics as well as cultural influences. So in negotiation, of course, uh, culture plays a big role. And when you have business people negotiating with one another and often there's more than one person at the table on each side, uh, you tend to have similar types of ways of behaving on each side if they're from different cultures like Canada and Japan, uh, they'll behave differently and you can, you can observe it just by watching them. It seems that Westerners enter negotiations to win, whereas Easterners, Japanese folks, um, enter to keep both sides happy. Uh, how, what is research found in this regard? Well, there's a lot of research, obviously, on cross-cultural differences, and uh, certain cultural dimensions have an impact on negotiations. So. Westerners tend to be more individualistic and Japanese tend to be more collectivistic. So Westerners are looking out for their themselves and don't really care about the other party. Whereas Japanese negotiators typically are interested in working as a group amongst themselves but also in developing a relationship with the person with whom they're doing business. Dr. Yeager, what's the best way for a foreign executive to overcome this when dealing with Japanese clients? Well, there's a number of things that uh, executives can do when they come to another culture. Uh, one is just to do some reading and ed get educated about what the cultural differences are and what they might expect. Uh, another is once you're there to just kind of step back and, and don't, don't jump to conclusions uh, based on what you're seeing because you tend to use your own uh, home frame of reference, your home culture frame of reference. And the third one is to use uh, people to help you. Uh, in a negotiation situation, you may want to have somebody with you there. You almost always have a translator. Uh, you can sometimes even ask a translator what's going on because they're experienced in these types of things. A Japanese English translator will know, uh, will have had, will know what the two cultures are and will have had lots of experience observing uh, differences. In the McGill MBA program, you have a course on negotiation techniques or negotiating techniques. It involves simulations with mm -hmm. the students. Can you tell us exactly, Dr. Yeager, what do students get out of the simulations? Yeah. Well, a simulation is a role play. So each student who's doing, it's usually a one-on-one -on -one simulation, uh, negotiation. So each student gets a role uh, in, a, in a single culture situation. Uh, they're given uh, their price points, uh, what they're trying to achieve, what they're willing to accept and not accept. Uh, in a multi or cross-cultural situation, they're also given a role as to how to behave. Uh, so when you teach something like this in Canada, for example, you'll, if you do, uh, you know, Canadians and Japanese, the people playing the Japanese have to, are told how they're expected to behave, and the behaviors are very different from, uh, from North Americans. So they can learn from each other Absolutely. in both senses. Absolutely. Now you're also an expert in organizational behavior. What can Westerners and Easterners learn from each other in, in that regard? Well, that's a big question. Uh, I mean, I think people from other cultures can, can learn lots of things from one another, and that's one of the reasons I'm in this business, if, if you will, uh, that we, uh, we are kind of products of our culture, uh, and we don't really realize that we're products of culture until we go to another culture. So if a uh, Canadian comes to Japan, he sees all kinds of things, that or he or she sees all kinds of things that are very, very different, realize, aha, I'm conditioned to behave this way, uh, or interpret things this way, and here it's completely different, and you maybe don't understand what's going on, but it's a very enriching experience. Now, part of a good MBA program is to develop entrepreneurs or entrepreneurship. Uh, what is, what is uh, the benefit of a program such as yours to a student in learning this area? Well, entrepreneurship is, is a challenge to teach, uh, but all MBA programs have programs in entrepreneurship, and what they, they typically do is uh, give the students the tools they need to understand business, to evaluate a business, to do an evaluation of potential markets, and also to meet other entrepreneurs kind of who can be role models to help them, uh, to, to help them succeed in business. Most entrepreneurs uh, 
who are successful have failed before. And your, and your experts in entrepreneurship will tell you that uh, the, the, the best learning is failing <laughs> and then picking yourself back up again and, uh, and succeeding the next time. Is that hard for a student to learn and understand? Um, it's, you know, it depends on the individual. Uh, what, what students get are insights uh, as to how they might improve their behavior and what they might do and they get, they get tools that they can use. So uh, they often are able to kind of hone their skills uh, by going through an entrepreneurship course. Or sometimes they have kind of field experiences where they have to make a proposal for a particular business uh, and then they're judged by a panel of uh, business people. Thanks very much for joining us, Dr. Yeager. My pleasure. That's Dr. Alfred Yeager of the McGill University Dezotel Faculty of Management. You're watching Business in Japan Television.